social media and marketing, mm -hmm. how is your company tapping into this? Okay, so we've, we've got uh, the main thing about our, our media is the fact that number one, we form we form partnerships with the with the bus owners. Mm -hmm. Now this unlocks a revenue stream that did not exist. We're actually creating wealth for them. Okay. Because what ends up happening is during the day they can run their business and pick up and drop off passengers, right. make money from their core. We come and supplement that by hiring space on their bus and pay them for that. So that's money that they never had. In return, we do not ask them for anything, right? This is purely, I call it free money. It's just, you've given me your bus. We, we do the whole pasting of the artwork, the branding at night. So we don't even interrupt their day schedules. So now, when we're doing other branding, to come back to your question, how social media is integrated into all these things. Ours is an out-of-home media. So we're able to do things outside the buses. So wrap the buses with stickers. Do things inside. So inside we're able to put in like seat covers. So we do like seat covers with ads. I'll even show you some of the samples we have. Now the cool thing is we're able to combine that with experiential and social media activations. So assume um, we're launching a brand, a brand of chocolates, which, is, which we've done before. So what, ha what ends up happening is we've branded the buses with chocolates outside. Inside the seat covers and things that are showing all these new chocolates. So the crazy thing that we do is we've got a team of brand ambassadors people who represent that brand. And they storm into those buses, give out free chocolates to the guys, and then they start telling them. So this is where the social media aspect comes in. So it's like, I've given you a free chocolate, and I tell you, okay, if you want me to also give you extra free merchandise, like a t-shirt, like a cap, like a key ring, or wristband, take a selfie of yourself eating the chocolate, post it to the brand page. It's a smart idea. Yeah, tag in your friends, and then they have to show the brand ambassador, look at my smartphone, I've gone onto the Facebook page, I've liked, the, I've, I've liked your page, I've posted my selfie eating that chocolate or, or doing something with that brand. So what we end up doing is, we end up connecting out of home in transit with the social media by using our brand ambassadors in the middle. They have to go in and activate the people to sign up online or to do something, especially about posting themselves or their comments. So you have all these funky comments from people saying, hey, I'm on route number 46. Thank you to this, this brand for giving me a free chocolate. And the moment they do that, we then reward those guys who went out of their way with like free merchandise and who wouldn't like freebies. Anyway. Exactly. So that's how we're able to connect this bus medium to this revolution in social media. And it has delivered phenomenal results. One of the campaigns we did for a chewing gum, they were getting up to 300 likes per day from a single day of activation within those buses. So I think it's just been different you know, and dynamic.